Season one, you, it's basically just a little introduction to Eric. You don't really get to know him. Um, he shows up as Bill's boss, and most people kind of label Eric as the, the evil, the, the, the villain of the show. Um, season two was a lot of fun for me because that was, uh, season one, after season one, I always had to kind of defend Eric because I liked him, and most people were like, well, no, he's a bad guy, you know? Um, season two was great because that you actually get to know Eric in season two when you get to see that in, in their relationship, um, his relationship with, with Godric, his, his maker, you can, you see that he can actually be quite loyal and, 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 um, and somewhere deep inside their, their, their actually feelings. Season three, you see that he can be very, um, he's also very focused, very determined because he gets presented uh, with an opportunity to avenge someone <clears throat> that he lost many, many centuries ago. Um, and, and you get to follow Eric on this mission, season three. Um, and that's, that's, that's been great. I love that, that, that aspect, of, aspect of, of, of the character that he, he, he's so focused and determined and nothing can stop him. He's on a mission. And also the relationship, that's also something that's um, you didn't see much of in season one and two, but uh, there's actually some tender moments between Eric and Pam, his daughter. And I love shooting those because it's fun. You usually just see them bickering. It's kind of nice to see that there's actually, they really, really care about each other. In the same way, Eric and Godric, you know, their relationship, you can, Eric and Pam's relationship is quite similar to that. 